Last time on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, a mysterious hero from the future warned the others about two androids that are coming to destroy the world. And he also explained that Goku is going to have a heart virus soon. Also, we had to run some stupid errands for everybody, so that happened. On to the episode. What is up, my homies? It's your boy, the John, and welcome back for some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. As you can tell in the last episode, I mean, yo, I, I'm not gonna tell what happened last episode, but all I can say is I was stressing out with all the stuff we had to do, but we already know what we gotta do in this one, so let's go ahead and continue hey, on. What's going ah, there you are, Goku. Would you, Would you mind, mind listening to what Launch has to say? Launch! It's been a while. Someone, Someone forget, forget about you? you? What's, what's up? up? What's up? I'll tell you what's up. Tien, all three eyes is back in the promised land. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Being that he cheated death and all, I thought a visit was in order. Then why don't you just go? I did, but he wasn't home. I've been by time and time again with no luck. Apparently, the oaf's out traveling the world, training. Hasn't been back since. I ain't got the foggiest idea where he could be. That makes two of us. I don't know either. Ah, don't give me that. You can fly. Find him for me. Come on, I'm begging you. Mm, what? You can sense energy, you don't. Zeroing in on him should be a piece of cake. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry to blank out on you there, Master Roshi. Let's see now. Hmm. Tien. Tien. All right, got him. Hey, he's near my house. What? You found him? Already? Yep. If that's all, I'll be in my merry... You idiot! I'm not ready yet! I wasn't expecting you to find him so fast. Seeing him requires, you know, preparation. Uh-huh. I see where this is going. Why don't you try to keep him busy till I'm done? Got it? I'll be quick. Just talk to him! Goodness, you make it seem, they make it seem like it's, it requires a whole lot of effort just to meet somebody. Or just say how much you love them. Like, like, come on. Sheesh. You try to be nice to people. Right. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Nah, nah. I want to be seeing. Nope. All right. Let's do this. Oh, for God's sake, as soon as I got here. You know what? Goku. A rare pleasure. So, someone asked me to find you, and let's just say she really, really, really wants to see you. That's so. I'm actually done training here. But it looks like I'll be on the move again soon. Seriously? That's a bummer. Can't you wait a little longer? Well, perhaps we can strike a deal. Oh boy, here we go. More errands. How's this sound? Let me test the results of my training. Oh, that works. On you. Oh, that works even more. Is that all? Shoot, I'd do that for free. I hate how Goku just slowly poses. <laughs> It is funny, huh? It's been far too long since we went toe to toe. Here I come. Come on, make the first move. Boy. Wait, let me use Kyle Ken. Then else can I use it? There we go. Power up, power up, power up, power up, power up, power up. Wait. Boy. Come on, come And we're done here. <sighs> you never cease to amaze me. Likewise, Tien. You've gotten a lot stronger. Apparently not strong enough. But learning that is a milestone in itself. As promised, I'll wait for this mystery guest. Through my sparring with you, I discovered a few things I need to improve. I think I'll train here for a little while longer. Do you mind? Go for it, Tien! Thanks. By the way, who is it that wants to meet me? Oh, crap! I left that part out. It's launch. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, he knows, he knows. You have no idea how much that makes me want to get back to training. Mm. Oh, that explains, okay, that makes sense. A promise is a promise. Tell her she can find me here. You bet. Hey, I'm so glad you're back. Well, did you find Tien? Sure did, listen up. 
So just go to the place I told you about, and he'll be there waiting. Ah, uh, reunited at last. This has been a long time in the making. Thanks. Here, this is for you. I fixed some grub to take with me, but went a little overboard. You can have the leftovers. Thanks. You know me, I'd never turn down food. Hold on to your hat, Tien. I'm coming for you. <clears throat> if I can push myself just a little bit more, I should be able to turn into a Super Saiyan. I see you're hard at work as always, Vegeta. What do you want? I've made some slight modifications to the training room. Would you like to see what I came up with? Oh? Go on then. Show me what you've done. I knew you'd be interested. Come with me. She's a new researcher I've hired to help me work on the training room upgrade. Be nice to her, Vegeta. Uh, 21? 21? What are you doing here? Okay, so let's tr So I want to try training it for the first time just to see. Ah, okay. I see. So it's not like, it's not, so it's not something you can just do like, re can't, like repeatedly or whatever. At least I don't think you can. Uh... Why am I not going in? Oh, am I not? Oh, I just pressed start. Oh, okay, I have a chance. I was like, why am I not doing that? I had to look. I had to look at the thing. Got a gun! No way! Yeah. Let's start with the. Let's start with the weakest of the blood. I want. To, bro, let me fight the Cyberman. Let me fight the. No, let me fight the Cyberman. Finally, that was ridiculous for no reason at all. That took longer than I thought it would. I better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Oh man, I bet everyone's stronger now that they've been training. Might as well be. If Chi Chi calls Goku one more freaking time. All right, here they are. You're late. What have you been doing? Sorry. Ran into a few hitches, but I did manage to get in a good bit of training, though. I got to fight against the end. <laughs> I figured as much. Luckily for us, we took the liberty of starting without you. <laughs> Sorry about that. How's the training coming along, Goku? We should be good to go. Yeah, you want to get in the store? Yes, finally. Done so much to prepare. Right. Yeah. I. Uh, at this point, I might as well just skip at least a good bit of dialogue because there's been too much going on. So finally, we can actually change the story and deal with some androids. Three years had passed, and the fated day of May 12th had finally come. Finally. All right. You three be careful out there. You sure you don't want to take some lunch? No. We're good, Mom. Sorry, Chi Chi. All right, we're off. <sighs> oh, no. There it is. Uh, it's probably nothing. Goku, the fatal heart virus? You're supposed to take the pill. Hey Goku, tell me the truth. These androids, do you think we have a chance against these guys? Of course. I honestly can't tell you if we do. I won't know until we actually fight them. Okay, that's a fair point. And so, the warriors gathered at the time and place that Trunks had mentioned. Bulma, who was eager to see the androids for herself, greeted them. But she wasn't alone. She had a baby boy in tow. Uh, trunks! That boy was a young Trunks. The child she had with Vegeta. No! All except Goku were surprised to see the child. However, the impending arrival of the androids quickly put everyone back on edge. Then, as Goku and the others stood ready, 
flames suddenly began to break out in the city. Androids? Could be. But there's no way to tell from here. Hey, what gives? I couldn't sense their power at all. That's it! They're androids. Which means we can't sense their energy. You're kidding, right? Where could they be? If we can't sniff them out, then we're just gonna have to hunt them down. All right, guys, split up. If you spot them, let the rest of us know. Got it? Go on. You go help the people who were caught up in that explosion, okay? Okay. The androids attack. Finally! Let's go! After all that air and bull crap before the past three years, like, ugh. Whoa, I just felt a huge drop in someone's energy. It's Yamcha? Of course. It's always Yamcha. Y Yamcha! Yep. Krillin! Yamcha's still alive! I left some sensu beans behind. Get him out of here and give him one, will ya? Right, I'm on it. So, you're the androids. Odd. How did you figure out that we were androids? And it would seem you also knew that we'd be right here. You want us to talk? Then you're gonna have to try and make us. Very well. Wait, not here. Let's move somewhere else. Somewhere with no people. You're okay with that, right? Somewhere with no people? Fine. We will allow you to choose the place of your death, Goku. How do you know Goku's name? We know all of you. You are Piccolo, and you are Tia, yes? We can talk about this later. Let's go! That's far enough, Goku. This ends now. We will fight right here. You have lost your right to choose the location. He already chose as soon as we got here. So, before we fight, tell us how. Tell us how do you know who we are? Very well. I will tell you, Goku. I have been observing you for quite some time now, using an ultra-small spy robot of mine. Oh, the usual. During the World Tournament, during your fights with Piccolo and Vegeta, I continued my research long after you destroyed the Red Ribbon Army. How are you guys not dead? I mean, why can't the Red Ribbon Army just stay dead? You guys are like the what the you guys are like the the William Afton of Dragon Ball. You always come back. Just stay dead. My God. So that I could someday witness your defeat. Revenge against me, huh? Yes. Because of you, the Red Ribbon Army could never realize its dream of world domination. You tried and you failed, so don't even bother. Only Dr. Giroux remained. You're talking almost as if you're Dr. Giroux himself. Don't be ridiculous. I am a creation of his. I am Android 20. Dr. Giroux is no longer among the living. All right, then. Did you happen to observe my fight on Planet Namek? There was no need to waste the time. We were able to effortlessly ascertain your power after your fight with Vegeta. You're in for some real trouble, because guess what? You missed the best part! Uh-huh. What? Whether you know it or not, you just dug your own grave. You don't know about Super Saiyans. I see. Impressive, but no cause for concern. That cockiness will be your death, pal. Android 19 here should be more than enough to defeat you. Oh, yeah? Bring it, Fatso. Well, then. 
What do you say? See what he's got, huh? Goku is the heart virus. You should have took the pills. Okay, here we go. Bring it. Yeah, you could have run away from that, pal. Nice try. Alright then now. Oh, we're done already. Good. <laughs> Full power. He's in a lot of pain by the looks of him. Did he even say it? He just did it. He, he absorbed the attack. Goku, don't fire any energy attacks. They can absorb them with their hands. <clears throat> absorb the attacks. <clears throat> Give me a break. What, what's going on? Goku doesn't look so good. Wait. It can't be. It's the heart virus the kid from the future mentioned. What? You mean he hasn't taken the medicine yet? I don't believe it. He seemed perfectly fine when he was training alongside me and Gohan. Damn. All the times for Goku to get sick. Why did it have to be now? Man, I'm, I'm not doing so hot. What's going on? Ah, oh, of course. Friends Vegeta. He's that sure. to beat Kakarot, it's going to be me. Not some junk puppets like you. Vegeta! I felt an incredible energy over there earlier. But it's pretty weak now. Maybe the fight's over. Nope. What's going on? One of the androids did me in, but Krillin here saved me with the Sensu Bean. I've got more Sensu Beans here. We need to meet up with the others and fast. Over there! Dad? Goku! The hard virus that the kid from the future mentioned. That's likely what he's struggling with. No. Somebody needs to get him out of here. Give him that heart medicine right away. I'll take him. I hate to admit it, but probably not going to be much help here anymore. Yeah, no offense, Yamcha. You already died once, so we ain't gonna let you out again. To deal with me now. Android 20, please allow me to exterminate Vegeta. Big mistake. Hmm. Very well. Then I will take care of the remaining four. <laughs> you two don't look as tough as everyone had said you would be. We already know. The full extent of your fighting prowess! Oh, you need more than calculations to understand us sayings. 
So tell me, are androids capable of experiencing fear? Vegeta's a... a Super Saiyan? I've yearned for nothing more than greater power, and trained the hardest I've ever trained. Yeah. Eventually, I came to realize the limitations of my power. This would be a good place to use the theme song. Not here. With anger, frustration, I finally awakened and became a Super Saiyan. That might be impressive to some. A paltry power increase does not make you a match for us androids. That cocky sneer will soon be turned into sheer terror. Now that I've become a Super Saiyan, no one can best me. Well. Let's do this! Time for the Brits of all Saiyans to show oh, his true power! Yeah. Let show the power of a true Saiyan! All that nonsense. Yeah. You walking scrap pile don't feel pain, right? That must be nice. Ooh, blocked at the right time. Because I am him. I'm the prince of all sight. Did you make a miscalculation somewhere? Maybe that was a good time to use the theme. I've used up a lot of my power. If you want to take me down, now's your chance. Your power may have exceeded my initial calculations, but it's still not enough to defeat us androids. Again with that talk. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. I'm going too. I want to see the end of the androids with my own eyes. Yeah, count me in too. Me too. Fine, but don't get pulled into the fight. He's more than you guys can handle. He's trying to lose us among the rocks. If you find him, let everyone else know, okay? Amplified Android Terror. AAT. <laughs> no calling your comrades now. Your energy will be all mine! Go on! Androids, get over here! Uh, uh, Mr. Piccolo! Over there! <laughs> You're as good as dead! Uh-huh! How did they find me? <sighs> Thanks, go on. Krillin, give Piccolo a Senzu bean! Uh, a 
Okay. There we go. And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? I'm not getting anywhere near close to that. Don't even think about it. You understand, I'm an American. Oh no. Nah. Oh, it's healing! That's crazy! Okay, so I gotta be careful now. I don't know though. Ah! Okay. If he says I'll be taking your energy, don't attack. This fight's gonna be ridiculous. No, I will not be done in by the likes of Piccolo. What? No, no. Oh my god. I mean, his health is low, at least. Don't. I know he's trying to do. No. God. Oh my god. Come on. There! Finally, finished him. Jerk. Draining my energy. Wait. These aren't the androids I know. What's going on? If it's not them, who is everyone fighting? I refuse to believe that even Piccolo could have increased his power this much. I have made a grave miscalculation. I have no choice but to return to my lab. Everybody's here, so it looks like we all avoided getting wiped out. Which must mean we've changed the future. Hmm? Hey, guys! Now, none of you have any hope of winning. Android 17 and 18 will make short work of a lot of you. What? Ah! Mother! So you came back, huh? Yeah. I thought I would come and offer my support. But who were you fighting? So, where is that wrinkly robot? He used the smoke to make his getaway. Damn it! Why didn't you try and save your wife and child just now? Foolishness. I have no interest in things like that. What? Of course! I saw what looked like a badly damaged android on my way here. It looks like the androids you fought are different from the ones I've been fighting in my time. Then what the hell are we fighting? Uh, 
That's not that big of a deal, right? I mean, so history's a little different now. Wait, that creepy geezer was an android? Huh? That might have been the actual Dr. Jerome. I've seen a photo of him in one of my books. He probably modified himself to extend his life. No way. You mean my coming here years ago changed history this much? He mentioned androids 17 and 18. Those were the two you were talking about, right? Tell us, what did they look like? Right. Android 17 is a young man with long black hair and a scarf around his neck. Android 18 is a young woman, and her outfit is more or less similar to mine. Uh, a female type? Oh, come on. Bulma, do you know where Dr. Giro's laboratory is? He's probably there right now. If I had to guess, it's likely in the mountains up north. I heard that he built it in a cave around there to do his experiments. To think he was a lackey for the Red Ribbon Army. That's crazy. That settles the matter then. We'll find the location of Dr. Giro's lab and destroy it well before he's able to activate Androids 17 and 18. <laughs> I'm above such cowardly tactics. Let him activate them. I'll turn them into scrap with my bare hands. Oh, great. Here we go. Okay, Vegeta. No! We have to destroy his lab before he activates the other androids. And if we can't, then we have to avoid fighting until Goku is fully recovered. We have no need for Kakarot. Oh my god. You're forgetting that I'm a Super Saiyan now too. And I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince, which means I'm leagues above Kakarot in terms of power. Don't stand in my way. Vegeta may actually have what it takes to get rid of the androids. As a Super Saiyan, it might just work. You're agreeing with him now? <sighs> I can transform into a Super Saiyan too. Yet, I was no match for them. I'm going too. He's difficult to deal with, but I'm not about to watch my father die again. Uh, father? Uh, did he say father? What did he mean? Guess there's no point in keeping it a secret. Not anymore. Unfortunately. Kid's name is Trunks. Vegeta is his father. You're his mother. In other words, he's your son. Trunks is the grown-up version of the baby you're holding in your arms right now. What? Uh, really? Uh, well, that explains it. That's why he was able to go Super Saiyan. I think it's probably best we destroy the androids before they've been activated. You guys come with me. We're going to look for Dr. Giro's lab. Right. Yeah. Okay, Bulma. This is important. Could you let my dad know what's going on? And tell him to come help when he feels better? Well, I would, but how am I supposed to do that? Have you seen my plane? Gohan, head back and take her with you. Understand? We're more than strong enough to destroy the androids. Uh, okay, be careful. All right, let's go. We have to get there before Vegeta does. Right. I think now will be a good place to end things off. A lot of stuff been going on, so I'm not gonna do like a recap of everything. I'm gonna just go ahead and end things off here. So thank you so much for watching. Zap that like button and subscribe. Ignore the dislike button. Leave a comment down below to take us through this game, this let's play, and this video. Click on the notification bell to check for more videos. If you can't wait for more, always check out my old ones. This is John and I said now. Peace out, my homies. Winners, 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 winners are my homies. <laughs>